Hey everybody, how are you guys? Today I have another do it yourself and today we're gonna revamp another t-shirt. This time we're gonna have a fringy t-shirt as you can see. It has these uh, things on the shoulders, on the sleeves, you know, now I remember the word. <laughs> And uh, it's fun because the back, although it looks very uh, complicated, it's a little bit tedious to do it, but it looks really pretty. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, I hope you really like it. There you go, can you see it? Uh, I hope you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's like the angel wings. Yes, and this, um, um this design it's really really tedious as i said before you need a lot of patience but as you can see it looks really fun pretty and i'm pretty sure you're gonna be loving it so if you want to see how i did this keep watching because we're gonna start right now Okay everybody, so this is the t-shirt that I'm going to be using. This is a very old Forever 21 v-neck t-shirt. As you can see, I am using the t-shirt inside out because I'm going to be working with the back of the t-shirt. Now, I'm going to introduce a couple of papers. These are sheet of papers because I don't want to uh, have any transfer from the Sharpie that I'm going to be using to create the little um, holes uh, of the wings so make sure to do that if you have like a cardboard uh, or something put it inside alrighty so this is roughly the uh, wings that I have created with my, my sharpie they're not not perfect I know I know you're gonna be doing a better job <laughs> but at least I have the idea right um, inside the wings I'm just going to be creating randomly some little lines that are going to be helping me for the little holes that I'm going to be cutting now you don't have to be perfect you just have to do like a little um, lines that are gonna help you uh, for the pattern that you want okay so try to uh, make uh, try to use a small scissor I'm sorry I was lost for a moment and uh, because that's gonna help you to cut all of those li little holes now if you feel adventurous and if you feel that you are going to be able to do this directly to the t-shirt just go ahead and do it I'm not very good with crafts um, and I just want to have something perfect so I'm using this pattern um, before cutting the t-shirt so as you can see I just have created the little holes on my paper as you can see they don't have to be perfect so you can be creating little squares uh, little circles whatever you want I just find the random the pattern the better the look so if that helps you good now after you have uh, cut all that pattern that you have all that paper you're gonna have something that it's going to look like this now this it's basically basically like an idea it doesn't have to be the same way on your shirt but at least you have an idea right now we're gonna be putting this on top of the back make sure it's not very uh, near the uh, edge of the um, how do you say cuello in English let me think neck right hey I got it <laughs> okay don't put it near the neck because the wings actually have to be uh, on uh, your um, not near the neck but a little bit lower that area now as you can see I'm just using my sharpie to do the little uh, lines that are going to help me to cut the t-shirt so when I'm ready I'm going to have something that's going to look like this basically you can do more um, dots if you want but um, for me that's enough 
Okay, so here comes the fun part. I'm going to be cutting and as I said previously in the video, this is going to be really tedious, believe me. Um, I uh, used or I did this project on basically one hour and one hour because it was I was really slow but maybe you can be faster um, another advice that I can give you is try to be careful because you don't want to have the holes very close together because you can stretch the fabric and you can break it apart now you're not gonna believe this but right now I'm just holding the camera with my feet no with my um, mouth <laughs> with my teeth yes it's because I wanted you to have a better um, idea of what is it that I was doing okay so basically I have my t-shirt I'm just gonna put it on the right um, way because I want you to see if um, how does it look if it needs something else you know I just wanted to see how it's going to be when you wear it after that, after you are happy with your uh, angel wings, we're going to have to work with the sleeves, you see, now I remember that word. Um, for the sleeves, I just decided to use, um, basically I decided to steal one of my husband's um, t-shirts and I don't think he's going to miss this t-shirt. Okay, so I just put the t-shirt on the side and I put it inside out and as you can see I'm just cutting this seam from these leaves because I just want to have a little bit of the seam for the strings that I'm creating I'm just going to be cutting and cutting and cutting lots and lots of these little strings as you can see I'm doing uh, one inch apart you can make them uh, thicker if you want but uh, I think this is the right length now don't make all those strings the same length uh, make sure some of them are smaller some of them are uh, larger because you want to have more volume on that uh, shoulder area now as you can see I'm just going to start to um, cut again all my little uh, strings and after that I highly recommend you to stretch them really good because uh, you really want to have like a very tiny and curly uh, string you don't want to have them like that very squarish so after you're happy oh, by the way you can make as many as you want I just did um, I think six for each shoulder okay so now we're gonna go back with our t-shirt as you can see I'm going to be working with the sleeves and to do the strings um, I'm just gonna be uh, doing little holes with my scissors be really really careful because I don't want you to do any damage to your skin and I'm going to be doing the circles one inch apart or more or less you know you can make them more separated if you want and I'm going to be doing this I'm going to continue to do this until I reach the seam from the shoulder to the uh, sleeves you're gonna have something that looks like this and now we're ready to add the strings or the fringe whatever you wanna call it now make sure to stretch them again and now we're gonna be introducing it from introducing uh, the strings in each and every single little hole that you have created on your sleeves sometimes this is going to be difficult especially if you have long nails but don't worry you're gonna do it you can do it if you have like a crochet um, I don't know how you call that a crochet wand or a crochet some this, those things that you use to knitting for knitting uh, maybe that's that can help you so there you go I'm just adding more and more and more of those strings and don't worry they are not gonna fall apart because we're gonna be doing a double knot between those uh, fringes just to keep them in place and to have everything neat and pretty alrighty so basically looks like that when you're happy with your fringe 
range as I said before you're going to be doing a double knot one two and now you're gonna stretch even more stretch it good okay you're gonna continue to do this on the entire uh, sleeves on both sleeves actually and don't forget to stretch it really good that's very important and basically that's it as you can see it's not very difficult this design it's a little bit tedious but it's well worth it so I really hope you like it thank you so much for watching thank you for uh, trying to understand my instructions I know I'm not perfect doing that <laughs> this is very difficult uh, for me but I really hope you all could understand something uh, and thank you so much for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye